I would imagine. So, I mean, look, you were part of, let's be honest, the low point Ooh. of Team USA 2004. 15 minutes, one of the greatest Olympic stretches of all time mm -hmm. in any sport. Uh, you went on in 2006, won a third gold medal. When you look back at all of that in total, does it give you a different perspective on what happened in 2004? And then once we put the structure around those teams, 07 beyond is, is all gold standard. Now, 2004 is when they had the men's basketball team stay on this like luxury cruise. <laughs> it kind of turned out to be a little bit of a prison because y'all weren't allowed off of it. No, it was crazy. It and was you crazy. snuck off. I, I know this for a fact. <laughs> I did. I did. What was your sort of sneak off highlight that you so, can say on camera? So I wanted to get back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Community, community or community? Community guy. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to get. Yeah, unfortunately, I snuck off. I snuck off the yacht, off the boat. Uh, but I had a good time off the boat because I was around. Sure I was around. I was around the people in Athens, and yeah. people wasn't expecting to see us get off that boat because it was headlines there. Yeah. So that 08 team and that gold medal was like, you know, we have to really do it. And then adding Kobe into that, yeah, that mix was like, you yeah. understood that from a from a from a brand standpoint, we understood that, yeah, and just intellectually, like we knew, like, yo, know, we go do what we got to do, man. He don't cheat the game. Yeah. So what we're seeing right now is just a real, why it couldn't be like. Because <laughs> you're going to hear about it forever. Yeah, like why it couldn't be like D-Way. You ain't going to hear about it from D-Way. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you ain't going to hear about it. So yeah. You ain't going to hear about it. Yeah. You still got to be Boston. Mm -hmm. But I think it 